Hey everybody, it's Az and Leo here. Very, very excited to bring you something a lot of Joan of Arc Kickstarter backers have been asking for. It's the reason we wanted to extend the pledge manager and the late pledge is the Siege card game. Yes, well, because the Siege card game, uh, we have talked about mm -hmm. it, we know what it's supposed to do, yeah. but people haven't seen. So what is the Siege card game supposed to, to do? So it's an, an optional, but very, I feel, integral part of the Siege. It's the days before, it's the build up to the Siege. Even more than days. Yeah, yeah, weeks, months. It's the defenders locking down the walls, holding themselves in, slowly running out of supplies, as the attackers who are besieging the keep or the castle, they build up their supplies, they're calling more reinforcements, and finally, at the end, there's gonna be a battle, but it's not gonna be just the way the scenario outlines. So the Siege card game is gonna give you options to recruit more forces, to do some training while you're waiting for the battle to start, maybe even to try and go and interact, sabotage, destroy some of your opponent's forces as well. Um, Poison the water. Yeah, absolutely. Um, yeah. Hurt the characters, get on some early wounds. If you could take out some of the siege equipment, it's going to really help you in the long run. These, these so things. It could give you an edge uh, yep. if you play well exactly. over your opponent, or it yeah. could... It could change the, the setup. Yeah. Right? We really we really didn't want to ignore things like night raids, things like small groups of men sneaking out through the sewers of the castles to go and try and destroy the, the bombard. Exactly. And um, now please note this is using the Siege of Orleans, which you will have seen on Beasts of yes. War. You can go and watch the entire siege over on their site or on YouTube. We'll be playing with that scenario and this setup and you'll see us deploy there in a the moment. The card game though itself is still in prototype. We'll be playing with decks which won't quite be the full size, they're probably about half or a third of the final size. Yes. And we're playing three rounds to give you a feel for what it may uh, be like over that time. But it, it could, could be longer, absolutely. Yeah. It's or, something, yeah. we're, we're, something we're testing. Um, balancing the supplies you have, the morale of your men, their will to actually fight and, st and, and still be willing to be to be seized and, and go to battle afterwards and your supply lines is really important and we want to really show that sieging can often result in fighting happening when you don't really want it to so we don't think three rounds will necessarily be the defined limit it's something we're going to toy with but we wanted to give you a flavor sums it up yeah sounds perfect so let's let's go let's we'll go start the siege of orleans yeah. and we'll show you guys what it's like i'll say very quickly before we do set up though we are still using the webcam and one of the new laurent who's joining us he's going to be kind of setting this up it's not trick track it's not beast of war it's a little bit fuzzy and you may see my belly uh, <laughs> a little bit more than i would like you to and um, so bear with us but in the future we'll be doing loads more videos like this and getting the quality right where we want it to be because it means the world to us thank you guys Okay guys, so we've got the board, we have gone ahead and we have deployed as if we were about to play the Siege. And now this is where we're going to introduce the Siege card game, as we're currently calling it, Element. As a quick reminder, we've already said it, but it is a prototype. We're playing with decks that are going to be smaller than your final version. And we're going to play just three rounds, but that could differ uh, in the final version. I start as the English Defender with 12 supply, 12 morale. Leo, you start with... Six, six supply uh, and six morale. Six supply, six morale. There we go. Very important to note that supply and morale are really important. At the moment, in prototyping for two different reasons, your morale, whoever has the most at the end of the, the Siege card game, will get an extra grey normal activation order. And the supply tokens can be used to buy things at the end. So every two supply tokens you end up with can be used to buy a tactics or experience token. And every four you have at the end can be used to buy a tactics card. And of course, we're using tactics because this is historical, not, not myth. Yes, mythical. absolutely. Yes. So how you finish the siege card game is going to greatly impact what you can add to your already beginning resources. Yeah. And this, as it stands, is, is how we're playing it, but it will ebb and flow and change. We've been enjoying everything we've done so far, but yeah. shall we get into it? Yes. You, could you just explain what, why we are using those two... Uh, ah, the colours? Well, yeah, well, those two uh, resources and why it's because when, when, when you finish with the most yep. morale or with the most supply, mm -hmm. uh, it can do something, right? Well, what it simulates. 
Ah, well, your morale is essentially your, your troops, your willingness to fight and how eager they are to get to battle. So uh, an army with more morale is going to be more energized to go and get them. So that, that's giving you yeah. that extra activation. You know, I wanted this, a little yeah, bit yeah. more of... Uh, and, yeah. and yeah, your supply, these are your foods, these are your resources, your weapons. And what we'll see at the end of each round is the supply will be ebbing slowly away from the forces defending and increasing as the, the siege wears on and more support arrives for the attacking, the besieging army. Yeah, that's good. So four, we're going to play three rounds. In a round, the first thing we do is we draw five cards. And from those five cards, we choose three to keep and two to simply discard. Now, designated, this is the specific scenario of this one, the Siege of Orleans, specifies that the English are the starting players. So for the Siege card game, that is also what the case is. So I know that my cards will be starting first. So I'm going to discard this one. And, oh, actually, yes, I'm going to discard this one and this one. Now what I do with my three remaining cards is I'm going to move over here to essentially what we're using as our play area, where our player boards are, and I put them down in the order, one to three, that I want to have them revealed. So the first one I put in the left, followed by the second, and followed by the third. Now, as Leo's just making his decision as well, let me move this back slightly. As Leo's making his decision as well, we will just mention before we start to flip these over that the cards do have a cost associated with them that usually will come from your supply. So you do have to decide how much supply you're going to dedicate to playing cards because by all means you could play cheaper cards if you wanted but then you're not going to gain as large a benefit. So we're ready to go. You've got your three cards ready. You've discarded yes. your two. Yes, I did. So as the first player... Um, as the first player, I'm going to basically take the first card and I'm going to flip it over. And this one is called Secret Plan. So it costs me two supply as dictated by this. So I go from 12 to 10 supply. I draw three War Council cards. So these are cards taken from over here that would usually go into the river. These, these, these are the cards that you when you're playing the game would go into the river and you would choose one off. I get to look and keep one of them. And then during the first round of the War Council phase, I may play one of these instead of choosing the river. So I'm going to grab this one and the other two I will discard away. So that's increasing my strategic options immediately. So, and this is a secret plan. Secret plan, exactly. Which right. means that one of your guys has gone ahead. He's gone to do a bit of, a, a bit of, uh, I better say sabotage. Sabotage is on subterfuge. He's, he's, yeah, he's conniving and working away so I can have something you don't know anything about. Okay, so yeah, these are uh, the the English. Uh, we 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 have a, an expression for them. Well, we <laughs> had an expression for the English. You're playing the English, right? Yes, yes. It's perfidious Albion. Mm -hmm. Yeah, means? which means uh, Albion is the name for the English, okay. and perfidious means that they are treacherous, that they are always ah, scheming, okay, and okay. and so. <laughs> yeah, this makes sense. <laughs> Okay, so, so it passes to you because yeah. you alter and you reveal your first card. Yes, my first card is Imposed Labor. Okay, so you're actually going to spend three morale yes. to gain three support. Yes. That sounds like something you would do. You're whipping people, <laughs> working them to the bone, giving them no yes. sleep, no rest. <laughs> <laughs> but now I've got much more, more support to play with. Yes. But you've 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 grossly taken away your morale, meaning more likely that I might end up with the most at the end for an extra activation. So yeah, but I, I want I want some. My supply. second card then is sabotage. Oh. Uh, this costs X supply, so I may choose uh, for each supply I spend up to two to do this. So I'm going to spend two. And the reason I'm playing two is I get to designate one siege unit. So I have a number of choices for you from your cards. Obviously, we have the battering ram, we have the bombard, we have the word I can't say. Culvery. That's the one. <laughs> um, and I have think, a, yeah, a second yeah. one. Yeah. Yeah. So I think uh, I'm going to designate the bombard. Yeah, which I'm is gonna, my strongest one. Yeah. I've spent two supply, which means I get to roll two red dice. And if I manage to get a, a hit, a, a kill, a sword, which is two of and a six-headed dice, I'll inflict a wound to it. Okay. So but this is me sneaking out at night when you're sleeping and trying to break the wheels off your bombard. No, come no, on. No, nothing. no, no, no. Nothing at all. A shield and a disrupt, so no. That's okay. It was worth the risk uh, to potentially take out, because your bombard, um, how many wounds did your bombard? Oh, your bombard only has two wounds. Yes. So yes, yes. That, I, I'm happy it was worth the risk. 
Okay, okay mind, mind. So what is what do we have here? Harassment. Yeah. Yeah. You know, after slavery, now it's harassment. After. <laughs> <laughs> so I designate two wall gate or building elements, mm -hmm. and I roll one red dice for each target, and and I inflict one damage uh, to the target if I roll um, a kill. So, so pay your two supply. To make sure I you pay, pay my two card. supply. Because again, you're you're cho you're really choosing from your five cards how much supply you want to dedicate. Now. We have three sections. We essentially have uh, one for this hex here, one for the gate of this hex, and then one for this. So which two sections are you at? I will choose those two, here yep. and here. Okay. And you're looking for you're looking for the, yes. the, the hits? That's one. Oh, yes, one. So, we'll, so yes. here in the center... So we'll essentially put a, a little grey yes. token to represent so the rubble. So this, uh, yes, this has been damaged. Now it takes three damage to take down yeah. the siege, but any, any damage you do now is going to last into the battle, which Absolutely. is obviously going so to really help. So this is weaker for our battle. Yeah. Yes. It's worth noting that obviously it says if it collapses, you, you gain morale. We also will be potentially looking at things when you successfully hit a wall, what may happen to the sure, troops that are sure. stationed there. Right now, nothing's going to happen at the moment to these guys, but we are it's something we're considering. Okay. Okay. So My good. third card. I predicted you might try and attack my walls, so very haphazardly, I'm going to do some makeshift repairs. So I'm not waiting for the engineers to arrive. I'm just going to try and slap some mortar in the wall as quick as I can. Designate one damaged wall, gate, or building element, which is here. I roll oh, a black no. dice, and if I manage to get a shield, which is a 50-50, I'll repair it. Okay. On the downside, though, if I don't get it, I do lose a morale. Maybe some stones fall. Did you pay I will for... absolutely pay my supply for it. And hoping for a shield, I get it. I oh, get the no. So we, we instantly run some new trainee, uh, <laughs> some okay. new trainee brick, brick layers to repair the gate. Okay, so my third one, yeah. you know, is looting. Okay. So, you will gain one... Uh, morale. Morale, but I gain three. Uh, so, it's like you're coming in and stealing my supplies, yes. but I maybe managed to kind of fight you off. I, I managed to kind of capture a couple of your guys, so I get a little morale. So, it looks like you are you don't mind losing morale, no, but no. you're going to have a lot of supply. Absolutely, yes. I'm looking for supply. Yeah. So... That is essentially a round of playing, but at the end of the round, different things happen to the attackers and defenders. So for the attackers, you gain a supply because you're essentially having more troops arrive to back you up the longer this goes on. And I lose a morale. Now, obviously, this is because you started with six of each. I started with 12 of each because I've stocked up with food and supplies and weapons. I'm prepared to defend, whereas you're having to wait for more troops to arrive. So actually, yeah, that's pretty bad. I've lost a lot of supply in this round. So let's get rid of these. And we, we will draw three, uh, five, five more. Five more. So this is the start of the second round. And I'm still the first player currently. Oof, okay. That's definitely staying. I like this. Um, I am going to... No, I don't think I can risk that one. Oh, man. I'm going to... Yeah. And... Oh, maybe I can risk that one. Yeah, I think... Yeah, this is tricky. It, there's, a, there's a nice balance of trying to predict what your opponent's going to do. And when you think about sieging, it's like, am I going to put men on guard at night? Or am I going to let them sleep so they're rested and they have morale? Or am I going to send them out to scout and try and sabotage things? You've got a, a kind of flexibility that we're trying to replicate in the cards. And the decks will be two or maybe even three times the size of this now with even more variety in the cards. So um, at this stage, these are still quite basic. I'm quite happy that I've got a very different style of phase this, this day or this week. I think we yeah. start this. Okay, ready? Yes, ready. ready. So my first card is Traitor. So play this card first. I must play this as my first of my three. And once during this round, I may, if I want to, spend two supply to discard an enemy siege card when your opponent reveals it. So I'm preparing for the worst. And if I think you're going to do something traitorous, horrible, I'll basically grab one of your men have him turn coat to my side and stop what you were doing. Oh, okay. Well, let's see what I was planning. I'm planning for supply line. Okay. It's permanent card, so yeah. it can stay, stay here, here okay. if I want to. And I gain one supply. Okay. And at the start of each remaining round, mm -hmm. I will uh, gain one supply. 
Oh, nice, nice. So yes, if you were going for a longer, you wanted so to draw it out. That do you is... want to? No, no, I'll let that go. You let this yeah, one. Okay. That's not scary enough for me. Okay. So my next one is rationing. I'm going oh. to spend uh, some of my morale, unfortunately, but I'll hold on because I depress people. But I hold on to my supply, so I get a little bit of supply back to try and even us up a little. So that leaves me on eleven morale still and nine supply. Okay, bombardment. Do you know what? <laughs> I'm just going to say it right now, before you go any further. Oh, no. <laughs> yeah, this is a three supply card that potentially damages three buildings. I am declaring that your head engineer who's about to bombard me is turning traitor, and I'm going to pay two of my supply to cancel that card. Okay, okay. Yeah. So I was about to, to, to bombard you, but nope. there was a traitor. Nope. I didn't manage to, to take out your bombard, but I managed to have a drink with the guy that operates it. And I know his sister and she, she likes me, so he decided not to bombard me tonight. Okay, okay, fair enough. <laughs> so my third card. And again, I'm playing a more defensive role, although I'm now realizing I might be leaving myself short in supplies. For three supply, artillery training, I'm going to designate one of my siege units, and if they don't already have a training token, they gain essentially what will be a black dice worth of attack in the future. So I have up here two culverines. I'm going to designate this one, and I'm going to, again, I have the card, of course, and I'm going to simply, for now, just put this black dice with it to remember that it has an extra black dice, meaning it's three uh, yellow and a black in attack now. Okay. I'm taking time to, to prepare. Okay, okay. Okay, so my last card mm -hmm. is harassment. So okay. <laughs> this one, another one, yeah, another yeah. offensive wall destroying. So this time I designate two wall gate mm -hmm. of building, and I will roll for each. So it's not as strong as the other one, yeah. but it only yeah. costs me two, two yeah. supplies. So do you want at a time? Which two? Which two do you want to designate? Oh uh, well, the same as last so time. That here and here. So yes. do this one first, just to keep us right. Nope. nope. And then the gate. No. no, wow, we're not being very lucky at all no. on our... I mean, it's a, it's a one in three, so you have to take the risks. Um, yeah. Okay, that's essentially round two, which means, again, I'm going to lose morale as I continue to be besieged, and you're going to gain a supply as more reinforcements arrive. Okay. So, again, for this prototype slash demonstration, this is going to be now the final round, so... Oh, oh, it's magic. I like this, actually. So this is where you really have to think. I know every two, two supply I have left is going to be a tactics token or experience token. Oh, and every four supply... Yeah. I wanted to leave this one here. Absolutely. Right? Okay, it's... Uh, I forgot, sorry. No, no, perfect. Um, and every four supply you have at the end is worth a tactics card. I feel like I should win the morale, because right now I'm on 10 versus 3, so this one's going to stay. Oh. Yeah, do you know what? I think this one will be really cool. I think. Oh, yeah. I'm being. I'm not sure if this is the best strategic decision, but I have a plan that feels awesome. I feel like my army are behind the wall, preparing, hacking and slashing each other, not taking time to rest, but taking time to train. I feel like that's. Okay. Thematically, the way my army is going to go. Okay, yep. ready to go. So again, I'm still the first player currently. It could have been stolen during this Siege card game, but it hasn't as of yet. My first card is Imposed Labor. I will give up three of my morale, leaving me on seven, and grab myself three supply, putting me up to seven. So I've gone from 12-12 to 7-7, seven, seven, and managed to upgrade a unit and keep my walls repaired, so it's been okay. So, uh, supply line. So I More supplies come in. Yep. Another supply for you. Yep. Carry on. So I have reinforcements. Here they come. So this is why I wanted to get a bit of supply. Reinforcements card lets me spend one to gain one of the following units. So pikemen, um, I could have this one, I can't say. Almagraves. Uh, bowmen militia. So these are quite basic, simple troops. And if I get the option, I can also spend two supply to gain sergeant of arms or because I'm English and bowmen. So I'm actually going to spend three, which is going to give me a full unit of bowmen and, a, and the one a, a unit of bowmen militia. So I'm adding to the siege scenario itself, the existing units you start with, two extra units yeah. by playing the cards in this way. I'm leaving myself a little bit short, but I now have two more units of bowmen. If my walls hold, then that might really pay off. Okay, let's see. My 
Rocks. Second one mm -hmm. is Rain of Rocks. Okay. I designate just one. It only costs me one. Okay. So I will. Choose you really, you really want to hurt the walls? Yeah. That was really. Okay. Yeah. I will use. I will choose the center. Where? Yeah. The, the gate. Is your, is gonna, oh, you've no. not had any luck at all. Well, just once, but you could repair it. I. The final final card for me then. Oh, let me get this. Is heroic training. This is going to cost me three supply, leaving me with only one supply. Designate one of your characters. If this unit has no training token, the unit gains plus one black dice in attack. Down the back, Gilliam de Mullins. Yeah. I am going to take him from just a single red dice in attack to a red and a black dice in attack. Okay. He is ready to go. Okay, so my last mm -hmm. card is reinforcement too. So oh, I was lucky. You did I win, got yeah. it. Yes, I got it. So I can get with one when with one blue mm -hmm. I could have Pikeman, yeah. Armor Graves or Bowman Militia. And with two I could have Sergeant Arms, Crossbowman or Bowman. Well, crossbowman for crossbowman the French. For you, yeah. yeah. So I can have as many as I want. No, essentially you do. You buy this one once and this one once at the moment. Okay, so, so I will. I will get uh, one Bowman militia, yeah. and I will take uh, one crossbowman. So three supply in total. Yes, it's worth noting that we will have some cards that will have either or choices to give you a bit more versatility, and some cards which are straight up you can do one or two actions off the back. And again, we'll be kind of fine tuning that over the over the next couple of weeks. Okay. Yeah. So um, we don't have to do anything further at the end of this round because this essentially ends the Siege card game. But what we then have is the opportunity to have these extra effects happen as a result of everything we've done. So I have seven morale. I have three. So this means I am going to get an extra activation at the start because my guys are more willing to fight. They're more ready. They, they've been well fed. They're just, they're feeling better. So that activation cube represents that. But I have yeah. one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Supply to my one supply. I could not have held out much longer. No. Um, so you have the option for every two supply you spend, you can get a tactics token or an experience token. And for every four you spend, you'll get a tactics card. Okay, so I will have mm -hmm. one tactic card. Yeah. Which is Either. interesting. Yeah. So it will. And um, I will have one myth, uh, one tactics yes. and one experience. So go. I'll start with slightly better than what yep. I was to, to start Absolutely. with. Absolutely. Fantastic. So that gives you guys at home a bit of a feel for how the Siege card game plays out. So in the end, for me, I ended up with two improved units. One of my uh, Siege units and one of my heroes were upgraded. I managed to repair some of my wall. I managed to gain an extra activation token as well. And you got some extra units. And I two extra units. I got an extra Militia Bowman and also uh, some Bowman and um, straight up kind of average Bowman as well to add to my already deployed forces. And for myself, well, I destroyed a bit. Well, I, I yeah, damaged. I your, damaged your yeah. wall, but you repaired it. And then uh, I got um, I got one as well, yeah, yeah, one experience, one myth, well tactics, tactics, plus I had one pikeman, uh, no, one bowman militia, and uh, one crossbow, one crossbow. So, all in all, pretty pretty good. So yeah. we're going to continue to to work in the game. This should give you a feel for what you can expect when you play. Hopefully, you guys will really enjoy this, and it will make your siege games even more interesting in the long run.